There's currently what we call a disease fatigue in WA at the moment and nationally. The public generally have the perception that cardiovascular disease is no longer a problem, uh, but in fact the opposite is occurring. Cardiovascular disease is still the leading cause of death in Australia and in Western Australia. One in 12 people will die every minute. The British Heart Foundation in 2013-14 uh, reported 1.5 million incidents of heart attack and stroke, which was a 10% rise on the previous decade. And we anticipate that we'll see that in Australia, if not more, over the next decade. This is a concern in Western Australia because we are the largest state in the country and cardiovascular disease is disproportionate in that remote communities are more at risk uh, lower socioeconomic groups and Aboriginal communities. We have uh, what we call a capacity crisis in Australia and in Western Australia right now. What I mean by that is that we have had a steady decline in peer-reviewed grant funding and funding from philanthropic sources. As a result, we have a crisis in terms of uh, a loss of our trained personnel and expertise. Um, and this, is, this has already begun. This began about two or three years ago and we're now seeing the, the lowest uh, success rate in NH and MRC funding ever in the history of medical research funding in this country. The main aim of the Alliance is to increase awareness of cardiovascular disease. So we want to be advocates for uh, letting the public know that the war is not over, that cardiovascular disease is not fixed. We also want to increase uh, awareness to politicians and we also want to try to uh, increase our philanthropic sources as well for funding for cardiovascular research.